Hello, my name is Matti, and I work for Intel on the Red Hat Partnership team. Today, I'd like to talk to you about MultiCloud, and more specifically, show you a demo of some of the amazing capabilities we offer you to navigate the transition to cloud. Intel and Red Hat have a long history of collaboration. It spans over 25 years. Together, we drive open source innovation to accelerate digital transformation in the industry. Intel provides the compute, storage and network infrastructure, and Red Hat provides the OS, the business application platform, and the middleware. Together, we offer you solutions to transition your workloads from VMs to containers, build hybrid or multi-cloud infrastructures, and leverage the power of microservices and Kubernetes for your workloads. You can optimize your workloads to take advantage of all the Intel architectures and optimizations and run them efficiently. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the unique multi-cloud capabilities that our partnership brings. Leveraging Red Hat OpenShift as the business application platform and Intel Xeon scalable architectures across all landing zones, we can offer a true multi-cloud solution, giving you flexibility and true application portability across all these different footprints. A footprint can be bare metal, virtual, private cloud, public cloud or edge, you will have the agility and the capability to deploy your workload anywhere. It's cost efficient as it's a pay as you go model, which can be automated, giving you the best of both worlds, scale of cloud and capabilities on prem. It's strategic as you write your application once and you can deploy it anywhere, providing you with an application for rapid technology adoption. What you'll see today is an application called Cloud Technology Discovery that we've deployed on the AWS Rosa service, the Red Hat OpenShift service on AWS. We'll call this cluster the local cluster, as this is the place where we have deployed our advanced cluster manager. This is the console we'll be looking at when we migrate this workload. We'll start off by migrating this workload to the Azure Red Hat OpenShift service. It's a seamless migration. After that, we will move that application back on prem on a bare metal installation. All of these landing zones are powered by Intel Xeon processors. And while we demonstrate this for this particular scenario, you would be able to move your applications between any of these landing zones in a similar way. Now, let me hand you over to my colleague, Yuri, who will talk us through the demo. Let's take a look at the ACM dashboard. In the overview section, we can see our three clusters registered in ACM console, Aro, Bare Metal, and Rosa. Now let's navigate to Manage Applications section. Currently, application is running on our ROSA cluster. Because ACM is installed on ROSA, it is treated as local cluster. In the UI, you can see cluster selected by cluster placement rule. It is local cluster. Let's also take a look at the CLI. Here you can see the output of three scripts periodically reporting the currently running deployments in the application namespace called Cloud Tech Discovery. In the left upper corner, output from the ROSA cluster. In the left bottom corner, output from the Arrow cluster. And on the right, output from bare metal cluster. Now, let's move the application from one cluster to another. Let's move it to the Arrow cluster as an example. For that, we will switch to the editor and we will use the label called environment. Let's change it to Azure. What we see is that our test application is destroyed on Rosa cluster, and after a couple of seconds, it is created on Arrow cluster. As you can see, the selected cluster is Arrow cluster. Let's confirm that also looking at the CLI output. 
Now you can see that we have a deployment running on our cluster. Now let's move our application to the bare metal cluster using exactly the same label. Let's go to the editor and change the environment label to the bare metal. Let's confirm that our application is moved to the bare metal cluster. Now you can see it is in ready state. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you find it useful. Next time, we'll talk about data portability and how to move your data between these landing zones. We'll also show you how to leverage the power of operators so you can land your workload in the right location with the right architecture. We look forward to seeing you next time.